Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bang of Isaac Repentance. We are back again trying to achieve 100 percent and we are gonna go in. Do ignore my losing streak. Been playing a little bit more all lost. Um just just enjoying it. I've been loving it. Uh but we are gonna go and take a little look at who we need to do next. So we got Maggie, Bethany, Lazarus Azazel. Let's do a Bethany run and try and uh try and go and kill the beast with Bethany. We've not got much done as Bethany. We have done Mother and Mum's Heart, so we've got some good stuff done, but let's uh, let's jump on in. Bethany is, of course, a very fun character, so I'm excited to uh, experience the Book of Virtues a little more and see what we can do. Let's uh, hop in this room straight away. Unfortunately, very, very not worthwhile. Um, very, very not worthwhile indeed. I suppose I could... Let's take a risk. Let's take a risk. Sadly, risk did not pay off, um, but... If we die, it doesn't matter, really, because it's the first floor. Do you know what, though? That's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Uh, of course, we can't walk over that because it does do a full heart of damage. That's even better. Okay. This is, uh, this is a rocking good start. This is a rocking good start. Right, let's use this and uh, let's try and keep our health alive and hopefully get a bomb or just some red health so we can get over that. But Maggie's bow is going to be fantastic. Uh, as Bethany because of course Maggie's bow means that healing is more effective and also picking it up gives us a heart container and some healing as well So I actually think it's probably worthwhile. Oh, we got a new item here. That is um, That is the more options question mark that we unlocked recently uh, I am gonna pop in another wisp here. Oh, that was very close. I'm hoping this guy drops us some HP That will uh, that will quite heavily sort out this run so I'm really hoping he does. Let's hope we can get rid of these guys first. Still, again, loving the new blood sprite things, the blood spurts from these dudes. Come on. Oh, no way. Don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me. Uh, there is a heart for sale, so we can definitely get Maggie's bow. But I'd really rather not use any money on healing, because I want to get that new item. I've heard it's very, very interesting. Um, there we go. Yeah, I've heard it's very, very interesting, so I really do want to uh, see if we can afford that. Apparently, it's more options, but for consumables, which sounds very... Yeah, I don't, I don't know what to think about that, but I, I like the idea of it. So we'll grab this. This should heal us. I don't know if it heals us to full. No, it doesn't, but it does give us a heart and a heart upgrade. And this is a real good start. Maggie's bow is insanely good on Bethany because she can't get soul hearts. Uh, we're, we're only taking red health, so red health healing us more is very, very valuable. Um, basically, the next big thing we need here is a good active item so that Bethany uh, is actually getting some extra bonus from Book of Virtues. But honestly, the Book of Virtues on its own is not bad at all. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty decent, but we could definitely do better. Um, so we we're hoping for an active. I've heard as well um, as Bethany, and we've kind of found this out ourselves a little bit, but basically any one room use active item is absurdly good on Bethany just because of the sheer amount of wisps that you can create. So unfortunately, we just lose another wisp there. It's okay though. Uh, we grab that. Jump in here. So I'm kind of hoping for pageant boy, honestly, so we can get the money. What I will do otherwise is I'll bomb my donation machine in the hopes that we get three coins. But you got to remember, donation machines sometimes only give two when you bomb them. It's rare. Most times they're going to give at least three but there is the chance that we don't get the money we want here. I'm kind of just leaving the spiders to their own devices at the minute. Um, we can try and kill them just so he throws his head out a little more. The head's definitely easier to uh, to hit, in my opinion. But we'll see, because obviously shooting his head does damage to him as well. Everyone that's played Isaac or watched Isaac will know that. Um, but yeah, we can get him. I would love to just use my bomb against him, but like I said, we need that for our donation machine, just in case. Because yeah, I just I don't want I want to see new items. New items are fun. That was close. New items are fun. Uh, there you go. We got him, and we got a coin. So not a not a good item at all, but it is at least it is at least gonna give us the ability to only require two coins, which I believe is the minimum the donation machine can pay out with. So that kind of helps us out. Uh, so let's just put out this fire and this one. Ooh, only one coin required now. That's even better. Uh, right. You may notice my donation machine isn't quite as healthy as it once was. That is in part due to the fact that um, as the alt lost, you kind of need to take advantage of every shop. And so I have been. But what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take advantage of this um, 
of this movable TNT. It's going to take me a little while to maneuver it into the right spot because they're just kind of awkward to push around. But if I can get it in between these two rocks, we can get all three of these pots. And who knows? We could get the quarter, which is definitely, definitely pretty nice. So there you go. I mean, eh, it was worth the effort. We got two coins. It's not exactly the greatest, but certainly worth the effort. And we do have the ability to go down to alt floor. So I think we will. We can head back around. Okay, so how does this work? Yeah, okay, exactly as I thought it did. So, essentially, now, whenever we get... I don't know if it's any consumable or only room drop consumables. I'm not sure. But we literally do get an option of what we want, which is fantastic. So, apparently, we got an option there between a troll bomb and... Okay, this enemy's a nightmare. Uh, between a troll bomb and uh, a bomb, which is... Or a key, whatever it was, which is kind of hilarious, because obviously, you can't even take the troll bomb. Okay, this enemy's going to be a pain. Just stay out the way. I love these little dude's teeth. They look so cute. Come on, my little roly-poly fella. So, okay. That... Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, we opened the chest, and that just gave us everything in the chest. But we had a choice between the chest and the other thing. So, I'm going to go for this, because we're kind of banking on an active. Going to go for the key here. So, it's it's kind of interesting to see that there's no visual indicator that, they, that there's a choice. They just look the same. I was expecting them to maybe look a little bit different. Because um, it was actually... Ooh, I might take Poker Gear. Uh, there's actually um, an item from, I believe, Ipecac, the mod pack for um, Afterbirth Plus, that does a very, very similar thing. Um, in fact, it's identical. Uh, it, the, the only difference is uh, it makes the uh, second consumable, like the optional one, it makes it wooden, so it's a, it's got a new sprite and everything, and uh, it's very easily identifiable as the extra or as the option, which is definitely a little bit better. But honestly, the item existing just in in general is very very nice. Um, we I think I'm gonna go for the health this time because we're fine for keys. Because as I said, half a heart is a full heart now, so we do get extra healing from that. Maggie's bow is the best. This time I'm gonna go for the red chest, and it was very worthwhile. Uh, not much else on this floor to see, really, is there? Um, let's whack another usage of this and see if we can quickly dispatch you. Because there's a good chance that we'll get more bombs back um, and we don't have to go to the mines. Honestly, I probably won't go to the mines, actually. Uh, we don't need to at all. Um, we'll just go for that. When did I pick up Sissy? I can't even remember. Was that the item room? We did get an angel deal. Fantastic. Um, and oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, <laughs> that was a bit saucy. Um, interesting. So we have some good stuff here. We have obviously this, which I don't really care about. The Bible. But the bigger thing, I want this. The urn of souls is very interesting. So we know um, prior, we've had this once before. It is essentially a flamethrower. But... It spends souls, okay, but it seems to also generate wisps, which is very interesting. Now, the way that this normally works is when you kill things, it collects their soul, and you can use that soul essence to fire the weapon. So, there you go, that works exactly as, as I thought. So, what I'm wondering now is, yeah, this is, this is absurdly good. Because it just seems to be generating wisps with each use. So we don't need our knife piece at all. So I don't really care about going into that realm. But as you can see, the damage on this thing is is pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, very nice. Uh, we will jump. Oh, you shit of a game. I was like, ooh, cool. Look, it's the, uh, the dollar or whatever it's called. The star credit thing. And I picked up the wrong consumable and didn't end up getting it. Um, it's okay, our shop isn't too valuable anyways, but that, I completely forgot, and that's why I was kind of saying earlier about it'd be nice to have some sort of identifier. But this is going to be a, a pretty hefty Urn of Souls sort of run. Um, Hanged Man here is pretty nice. So it does seem to be just room rewards, which is interesting. Hello. Yeah, other consumables don't really matter. Look at this. We are... Oh! Naughty. I don't know, even know what happened there. I think I managed to grab the bomb, but it didn't look like I did. As you can see, this is very strong. <laughs> Urn of Souls on its own is great, but now Urn of Souls generates wisps as well. This is fantastic. 
Uh, Mongo Baby, no thank you. Robo Baby, honestly, still a baby, but much better. It is not Da Baby, though. It is just a baby. Right, let's carry on and let's annihilate our boss with fire. As I said. Annihilation. Trial by fire. We did get hit, but I don't really care. I will take this. Um, it ended up being absolutely awful for us. Unfortunately, as you just saw, we just lost one damage, which, considering we had base damage, is real fucking bad. Um, I'm hoping... In fact, let's go and check. Uh, let's see if the Urn of Souls, Isaac... Urn of Souls. Let's see if it gets affected by our damage, because that's definitely going to mean something if it does. Um, uh, it seems that there is absolutely nothing on the Urn of Souls at the minute. Unless I'm on the wrong page. It's very possible I am. Uh, let's just go to the Platinum God and see what it says on there. Urn of Souls. Where are you? There it is. Okay, enemies now create a soul upon death, which automatically sucked into the urn. Um, a charge consumed. Okay, it doesn't say anything about damage being affected by the player's damage. So I'm going to go off the assumption that it is a base level of damage and it just scales off of that. And we've got to remember as well that having low damage isn't as big of a bummer with Bethany because we're going to be like, doing most of our damage with, um, ooh, what do we want here? Keys, definitely. We're going to be doing most of our damage with the uh, Urn of Souls and the Wisps that we currently have. As you can see, we are full, all full up on, um, on souls right now. Ooh, an Eternal Heart. I'll definitely take that. Ooh, this is going to be kind of hard to get, actually. Don't take the bomb. You shit. Oh, wait, what? I think I got both, then. <laughs> I definitely got the Eternal Heart, but... Right, we're going to keep this thing out and mainly use this. Oh, you bastard of a game. These stupid spike chests, they spawn directly on top of you. But there's our um, there's our thingy gone now. Our lovely eternal heart. Sad times, sad times. We will get over it though. We'll get past it. This is great. I'm loving this. I think I'll take a key again. I'm more inclined to have a key. Lil Spewer is fine by me. So the good thing about the Urn of Souls as well is you can just keep it out. You can just keep it active. And yeah, this is great. This is a fantastic setup we've got going on now. And we are literally an absolute flamethrower. Um, honestly, why wouldn't we go grab these? It's literally free real, est free real estate right now. Uh, also, same with these, pretty much. Grab, grab. Basically, as long as we get souls back, which we often do, we are most of the time making the souls back that we spend. That's some HP. This is uh, very confusing, the more options thing. I'll, I'll say that for a fact. It seems very useful, but I'm getting very, very confused on what item, um, like, I keep forgetting it's a choice, essentially. It's it, it's confusion that, that's, that spawned from ignorance of me understanding how items work. Um, that seems good. We'll go with that. Uh, we got a card here as well. Yeah, I guess let's just, I was going to say let's donate, but we've got more shops remaining, so let's not. Um, let's... Slap a few of those down. Oh, hello. That's an invisible champion. Um, I think this time we can open the chest up and hope for a bit better stuff. Right, so we're going to hop in here. I'm going to drop my trinket on this boss fight as well. Lil Spew is also pretty good with this. Also, bosses do tend to drop a lot more souls too, as you can see. So let's drop our trinket here. To just make sure that we have that done. Uh, we get Bob's Curse, which is meh. And, yeah, nothing in the deal with the devil that we want. That's fine. We're going to carry on going. Uh, we are prepared to unlock Bethany Alt. But this is this is super spicy. I love this room. We, we, we have crafted... Oh, we got XL. Okay. Um, we, we have crafted a very, very good run here. Uh, which is very Urn of Souls heavy. So, it's debatable how well this is going to do against the... Um, 
against the dogma fight and the the boss fight i really really have no idea i would very much like more hp before doing that fight also i haven't really spoken about our hp in a little while but it's not great uh, i would very much like some more red health that, that eternal heart would have helped out immensely if we'd have been able to keep that but let's remember now as well to um Let's remember now as well to get ourselves our uh, our fool card. We'll keep on the lookout for that. But as you can see, we're, we're very very comfortably. Yeah, don't don't try and shoot me. We're very very comfortably staying at 20 souls. Like most of the time, we're getting kills and souls back quicker than we can spend them because the damage on the end of souls is, like I said, unaffected by our damage and very very good. This is just like a classic, uh, a classic run that's. Super, super, super good uh, for Bethany. I'll open that up. Oop, trouble. No, thank you. If you could stop, little faces, please. Nice. Uh, open that up. Soul Heart and a Yum a Yuck Heart. Sorry, not a Yum Heart. I hate that. That room can go die. With 0 0.8 speed, that room is essentially guaranteed damage. And we just... Oh my god, this room's also horrible. That room is also the worst. Um, Yeah, that, that room that we just came across there is essentially... Oh, there's our um, skull. It's essentially guaranteed damage, so if I can avoid going through it, I very much will. Uh, lover's card. Unfortunately, let's just pop it because we, we don't want to accidentally take that with us. Okay, grab a bomb there. Oh, luckily, we've actually created a very nice little thing here where the, uh, the ring of basically, I'd say, pretty much permanent, uh, wisps we have around us. The little, little ghosty boys, little blue boys. Ow. Um, is is created this very unique little thing where we just have a very constant supply of defense. Where we're, we're not really getting hit much because it's always there for us. And very much like that. Uh, but yeah, we're really hoping we can get to our item room without going through that spike room. It would be really preferable if both of our item rooms are this side. If... if both of them are that side. We're going to have to go across. If one of them is, then I might be able to skip out. Ooh, a burn heart. Wait, what? I think burn hearts don't work as Bethany. I did not know that. I mean, it kind of makes sense, I guess. You're supposed to be red health only, and burn hearts aren't really red health. They're, they're closer to soul hearts than the art of red HP, so I do understand that, but I didn't actually know that for a fact, so interesting. Yes, yeah, so let's hope we... Oh, hello. Oh, my God. This room did not go as planned. We are losing a lot of wisps. I mean, luckily, the wisp generation is absurd. So we just get them back pretty much straight away. I hate this room a lot. <laughs> this room is gross. Nice, okay. Yeah, that room was not good. Uh, keeping red health around is going to be nice here. It's kind of crazy how a single item is just carrying this run. It's kind of mental. So I wonder what happens with the, the more options if you just leave it on the floor. Can you still choose from it at a later time or does it just like leave one? Uh, I think that's better for us right now. I, I like the idea of this a lot, though. A lot more consumables can spawn than I thought. I literally thought it would be simple as bombs, keys, and money, and that was it. I didn't think we'd be able to get, like, cards and stuff alongside that, which is kind of stupid for me to think. It's kind of obvious that it'd be able to give us everything, but for some reason in my mind, we couldn't. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Kind of saw that one coming from a mile away. Also went to pick up that HP there and accidentally picked up the wrong thing. Uh, let's grab this HP wherever it is. Gotcha. So, it, it looks m increasingly likely, by the way. Ooh, Tinted Rock that I didn't see. I'm sure I'm sure a few of you are cringing at me not seeing that. Um, it looks increasingly likely, by the way, that we are going to have to go through that horrible room to get to at least one of our item rooms, which I, I just hate. 
That room just should not exist. Um, but it does, sadly. Yep, that's that's both of them over there. Great, great floor generation game. Thank you for that. Fuck's sake. Um, honestly, a theme for 30 is pretty good. I'll take that. A theme for 15 even, sorry. Uh, but yeah, we've, we've got to cross a fucking gauntlet to get to both of our item rooms. That is some fucky floor generation. And the thing is as well, we do have the health available to get there and back, but we have to cross there and back. It's not just like one way. With 0 0.8 speed, we are guaranteed to take damage there. There you go. Oh, look at this. The game's just a troll sometimes, isn't it? The game just knows. <laughs> it just knows. Open this up. Definitely not better. This really wasn't worth it, was it? Really wasn't worth it. We seem to have nail shots now, though, which is strange. Oh, I think it's just one of our wisps. Yeah, it seems to be just one of our wisps. Right, let's bomb a few of these and see if we can get anything useful. We got a card. Could be a hero font or something. It's a death card. Right, back through that room. Knew it. Fucking knew it. I don't actually care about that. Yeah, I'm going to say that that room, unfortunately, with low speed is guaranteed damage. There is absolutely no way around that. I do think there's, uh, there's something to be said about rooms like that really shouldn't exist. But hey, ho, here we are. Uh, let's not complain about it. And let's go and fight mum and remember to teleport out of the fight. Remember not to be a stupid. We do have two boss fights. Remember, this is an XL floor. But this is a good boss fight for us, actually, because there's a lot of uh, enemies to kill, which means a lot of extra souls. It was very, very easy. Ooh, hive mind. Interesting. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty hard fight for us, because there's a certain amount of associated charge up when using the flamethrower. Um, and we're not going to be able to charge it up for Mum's foot. And this is red Mum, so it's going to be pretty much all foot. It's going to be very, very hard for us to get a lot of damage on the foot with the flamethrower. We managed to do it, though. Uh, we will grab ourselves. It doesn't really matter which one we take. Grab that. And we will look in here, see if there's anything good. Stigmata definitely sticks out to me as the item we're going to take so far. Yes, indeed it is. And we will leave. Because it's extra HP. Which definitely puts our HP in a much more favorable spot here. We are ready to go down to the mausoleum. This floor's a little spooky because the, the, the big sort of downside of this whole flamethrower build we got going on right now is our range is severely limited. And I accidentally just put away the, um, oh, you stupid fool. I completely forgot how those enemies worked for a second there. Um, it's okay though. We got ourselves a Yera rune. I wonder how that's work gonna work with the multiple consumables. Like, can I? Yara something and then get birth. I do. What What in the fuck is this room? Oh, oh, ah, 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 no, oh. What in the fuck? What in the fuck? Oh, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> God. And yet again. Yet again, I took the wrong consumable. God damn it. I really wanted that HP. What in the flibbity, flip flap fuck is that room? That room is some shit that I didn't think I'd be experiencing anytime soon. All right, give me some more HP game, please. Um, we'll take this. Lord of the Pit is fantastic. That cures our speed issues. Gets rid of all of that. But also, probably the bigger thing, the much better thing, is we can now fly, which makes Urn of Souls way more usable. We are slowly but surely running out of souls here. Can I have some HP, please? Yeah, we are slowly but surely running out of souls here. We do have a 10 soul heart backup, which is very nice. Um, but not quite going to cut it. Bloody crown, I don't think that's anything. I mean, we can take it, but I don't think it actually does anything for us. Haha, -ha, you flamethrower me? No, I flamethrower you. Yeah, we really could do with a little bit of HP here. Oh, come on now. Hierophon, 
That's nice. More souls to back us up. Oh my god. Come on. God damn it. Where's all the heckin' HP? Like, I don't need it super badly, but I would very much like some. This game's been a troll. Right, there's some. And also there's some damage and HP up, I think. Yes. Okay, HP is sitting at a way more comfortable position now. I'm going to say, we'll 100% just be ending that room. Um, we've been to our item room and everything. We are good to go. We are good to go. Dad's note. Come to me. And we make our way back. Unfortunately, we do not have spectral tears with the um, with the flamethrower. It's gonna. It's interesting to know. I wonder if you have the spectral tears item if that affects it. So rooms like this are kind of fucky for us. Definitely would like some more soul generation right now because we are only at twelve souls. I do really, really worry for the boss. I have to say, the boss is gonna be kind of bizarre. Like, we're going to have absurd defense, but there's just not many things that spawn. One thing that is good to note, the beast fight does have a lot of summons, but Dogma really doesn't. Okay, this should be a good enemy for us. Do you know what? Let, let's let him summon. Oh, really? Normally that guy summons a bunch of enemies. That's the Nail again. I'm sorry, Nail. You are cool. I do like, I do like you, but honestly, we need something a little bit more potent. And the Flamethrower is literally all of our damage right now, so... Gonna have to, it's gonna have to be a nerf from me. There's a nice amount of soul. Okay, we're up to 19 now. Feeling a lot better. But yeah, I, haven't you guys noticed, anyone that's been like going for this achievement where you go to home, have you guys noticed that it very much tends to be that um, on the mausoleum floor, you always seem to, um, you always seem to like get all the items you need to, to make the run work. The run always looks a little bit off and then that floor always somehow gives you exactly what you need. Like maybe I've just been getting incredibly lucky on my runs, uh, but like I feel like every time I go to that mausoleum floor, my item room is always pretty good. My shop always has what I want. That's curved horn too, which massively alleviates some of the damage issues we've been having. I would not say fully because we're still only at six damage, which is frankly absurdly low for what we're trying to do uh but it is definitely more which is great and we've got our crack key as well we're good we're set for that oh hello i forgot about this guy dude i can't believe i can't kill this dude this guy's got some tanky hp tanky hp enemies like that are the worst because we don't get any we don't get any return on our soul investment we only get one soul for killing him. Yeah, as you can see, we're diminished down to 11 now. We basically need a room... Yeah, there you go. We need a room like this where we can use very little amount of our soul power and get a lot for it. Again, this is another good room for that. I can't believe our nail soul... Our nail uh, wisp is still alive. Is that an eternal heart? Fuck, I picked up the key! You. Okay, this is a very annoying set of enemies because we can't really hit them because we get knocked back too much. I can't believe I picked up the fucking key then. But yeah, as you can see, we can kind of like tap fire this and get everything we need out of it. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm super upset about that. That was super stupid. But hey, her. Down par one. These bigger enemies that have these tanky HP gates are going to be kind of annoying for us. We're getting spiders from Sissy, I think, that are hive-minded, which is kind of nice. You guys can stop. Ooh, a brain worm. Oh, I'd love to take brain worm, but we absolutely need the damage up from Curved Horn. I want my eternal heart back. Don't be mean to me, game. Oh, shit. There's another one. Fuck. Also, just have to say, 
we haven't really been hit by projectiles all that much this run. I'm not going to say it hasn't happened at all, but it's th there's been a very, very low occurrence. And that's due to our just absolutely godly wisps. These enemies are not good for the flamethrower at all. Because our wisps bullets hit them and knock them out of the range of our flamethrower. It's actually very, very annoying. I'm kind of tap firing it. Tap firing it is working surprisingly well. Stop getting in between the fucking pots, you shit. Stop it! Again? Really? Is this kind of just what you do in this room? It's fucking annoying. Okay, basement one. Here we are. This should give us uh, back to 20 souls. Any enemies that spawn enemies on death are really, really good for souls because all stages of that enemy give you the souls back. Nice. Wait. What's left? Oh, hello. If you could not, sir, that would be fantastic. And here we are. We are ready to go. HP ain't great. Damage ain't great. But hey ho. Let's let's just let's just figure this out together. Let's just figure this out together. Stinky dookie diaper. Cracked key unlocked our Bethany. Good to go. Hello. Oh, well, Bethany looks cool. Apparently, she's really powerful as well, which I'm excited to try out. Mr. Me? Interesting. I kind of want to see what that does with the, um, with this. It spawned a little dude. Oh my god. I really thought he was just going to fucking run off with my Erna Souls then. But it did spawn a little wisp, which is cool. It spawns red tears. That's kind of nice. But yeah. Oh my god, Sissy's on the bed. Sissy, get down off mum's bed. You're not allowed up there. I really thought he was just going to fuck off with my Erna Souls then. Imagine how badly that would have screwed our run if he was just like, yunk. Later, bitch. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Oh, I'm like, oh, it's uh, it's firing red tears. No, it's not. I'm firing red tears. I just haven't seen my tears in so long. I really don't know how to best avoid that brimstone thing. Also, we should definitely save some of the soul power for later. Like, let's just use our regular old damage for now. Honestly, Sissy charming the TV somehow. Pretty happy with that, thank you. Yeah, only nine souls left. Oh, shit. But luckily our wisps have got our back. We've also got linger beans everywhere, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, this will probably get rid of quite a few of our wisps, by the way. Just because they're all going to be taking... Yeah, there you go. They're all going to be taking damage pretty, pretty consistently. And our speed still isn't great. Which is going to lower our damage a lot too. We definitely have some... Dude, again, are you fucking kidding me? I can't be dealing with this. I need to be able to deal damage to you, fucker. And you're just stealing all my heckin' souls. You big cook. Fuck you. Dude, again? No. Not funny. I don't have the speed for this, you big flying ring of feathers. Oh my god. This is stressing me the fuck out. If you do that again, I will actually murder you. I mean, I'm going to anyways. That's kind of the idea. There you go. A move that I actually know how to deal with. That was stressing me the hell out. <laughs> I hate that move so much with low speed. Right, Erna Souls. It's your time to shine, baby. I'm just getting my ring of orbitals back. And then we'll see how it goes from there. Let's leave it for now. Oh my god. These these bullets do a lot of damage. Sadly, Sissy and her spiders ain't, ain't too good down here, are they? Oh my god. We just got so many souls. I'm taking some real dumb damage here. Um, but luckily, the fucking thing is saving me. The end of souls. 
saving my life completely and truly. Oh, hello, sir. You've just provided me with many, many souls. Thank you. Okay, this kind of bars my uh, ability to hit you, so please don't, sir. Oh my god, there's just this fight is just souls on souls on souls on souls. Great. Yeah, you fucked up there, didn't you, my ladder? I love Sissy and these spiders. They're just chilling in the lava. Oh, it's gonna hit me. Nope, it didn't. Okay. We got him. Right, switch over back to our normal attacks. I wonder if these stalagmite things are going to end up uh, giving us souls. Because they do count as killing things. Can you stop, sir? You keep killing my wisps. You're dead again. Thank you. Death. Death should be good for us here. We can kill stuff that death spawns, so... Yeah, technically these count as souls. Great. That's exactly what I needed. Thank you. Also, holy shit. What is going on? What, like, look, there's like a li little line of fire over there. That's absurd. I love that. I'm excited to see how this does against the bot. Dude, you're stealing all my fucking wisps. Fuck you. Oh my god, I got so many back there. Beast, it's time for you to die. I regret to inform you. Come on, spiders. Do your thing. There you go. Okay, we're using our soul heart stuff now. Yeah, all the fires are like backing up against the screen. Oh my god. We annihilated him. Holy hell. That's insanely powerful. Wow, that was a fast run. Jar of Wisps unlocked. I hope you guys enjoyed. Urn of Souls for the win. My god, that was a fun run. Goddamn flamethrowers all the way. I hope you guys did enjoy this and I'll see you guys in the next one.